Remember that the center of attraction on Power BI Desktop is the canvas. That's where our outputs in the form of reports or dashboards will be. So essentially, the first thing that you want to do is to set the type of page that you want. You know how we have different types of papers, right? Like we do have sticky notes, which are usually very small. Then we have notepads, which are usually bigger than sticky notes. A4 papers are bigger than uh, notepads usually. Then we have A3 papers, which are much more bigger. We can also set the type of display we want for our canvas. So on Power BI Desktop, there are two places where we can configure our reports page. The first place is going to be on the view tab and the second place is going to be right here under the visualizations panel. So let's start with what we have on the visualizations panel. So if I go to the visualizations panel, you are going to see that we have two icons right here. The first one is to add data to your visual. The second one is to format your reports page and that's where I want to be. So when I click on the one that says format your reports page, you will see that I have different options of different things I can do about this reports page. Now, the one that is really important for me right now is the canvas settings. So when I expand the canvas settings, you will see that the default type of canvas that we have here is 16 ratio 9. That's the default and that's what we will always use. I just want to show you that we also do have other types of display that we can have for our canvas. So if I click on the drop down for this 16 ratio 9, you will see that we have different options here. So let's see what each one of them look like. 4 ratio 3 is going to give you this kind of canvas. Letter is going to give you something that looks like this A4 paper. Tooltip is going to give you something like this that looks like sticky notes. And then we have custom. So the custom is just the place where you can adjust the size of whichever of the earlier options that you have chosen. So for example, I'm currently on the tooltip page type right now, which is like sticky notes, but I can see adjust further the height and the width of this page right so for example i can change this height to 100 and i can change the width to 100 as well right you see how tiny it really gets so let's just go back and change this back to 16 ratio 9. so the first part has to do with you choosing the type of display that you want in terms of page size or page type or screen display type now the second part is what you have when you come to this view tab so on the view tab you get to see something here called page view which is about scaling how the page is going to fit generally so for example if i come to change this page type from 16 ratio 9 to like letter size right if i click on the drop down for page view you see that everything is currently set to fit to page but we have two other options. You can fit to width and you can actually use actual size. Now, what these things mean is to enable scrolling where possible. When you are on a fit to page, if I go to change or to customize this letter size, so let me go to customize the letter size by going to custom and then if I decide to increase the height from this 10564 to like 2056, you will see that everything still fits within the page that we can find here. But if I go to change the page view away from fit to page and I change it to fit to width, then you will see that it now gives me an option for me to scroll down. That means the width remains fixed. However, the height is not fixed. Therefore, if the height is kind of like too, uh, too large, then Power BI is going to enable scrolling for you on that report page. Let's say I change this from fit to width and I change it to actual size. You will see that on actual size, this can enable you to either scroll up and down or to also scroll left and right so it all depends on what you would like to implement but typically all report pages are always staying on 16 ratio 9 and then your page view typically will always be on fit to page 
but you do know that if you need to enable scrolling on your page maybe because you need more space to include more things on your report which is not common and which is not ideal and which is not recommended practice then you know that you have to go to customize the size of the page to increase the height or to increase the width and then to come to change this to either fit to width or to use actual size